Hey y'all, it's William Spring today. Uh, I ain't got nothing to pick for right now. Well, I mean I do, but instead I figured I'd give you a tour of the old quote-unquote lock lab, which this is my coffee table in my living room. Uh, that's what I do. So here's uh, here's what we got. Got all our stuff here. That's how I do it. I just sit at the couch because I don't have a proper desk or any of that right now. Uh, I got this thing. A lot of people wonder, well, how do you store everything? And this is it. We got everything in here. A couple little weird bunny locks. A little tech lock. And a little Brinks dial lock. Uh, plug followers. Keys to all my locks. Uh, and here we got lesser used tension tools and um, spare my last 15,000 pick just got it not that long ago I chewed it all up but there's a sparrows goat down there one of the 50 flat 50s and just spare and lesser used tension stuff and a little core in there I was working on Fried it, trying to counter mill it for challenge lock. And we got some miscellaneous pins, my locksmith gimme. Nothing too special in there. Extra springs and whatnot. I need to get some more stuff like that and some brass rod. My original, from when I started out, gut and tray. LPL style. It's got cat hair on it. From that guy. Right there. <laughs> Caught him in the middle of his bath. A uh, couple miscellaneous tools, my tweezers, and gut wrench down in there. And, uh, Lowell Forbes as ever. I still got to make a pick for it, get that done so I can get that mailed to him. It chewed up my other 15,000s pick. So I got the two. I got one I use regular and, and this one, spare one, and that's it. The keys to it. and down in there is a king and queen from Sparrow's Rakes. A uh, little well, decoder knife. Uh, a bag of American pins. And a couple blank keys. What's left from a package from Dusty and Wendy that I rekeyed my 5200 with. Um, I'm going to use these to maybe make some challenge stuff out of it. Um, Here we just got a couple of these aren't pinned. They're just well that one is. That's my little quick set. I got that from picking paradise. It's keyed up now with some spools and key to it's down in there. These on the other hand are not pinned. They're just there. Just a couple of them there. Um, and here we got just a couple more kicks. This one here, this one here, and two Schlage kicks. Uh, Sparrow's bump key set with my 50 CH751 on it. Uh, construction core from a best padlock. Uh, I can rake it to either one, but I cannot single pin pick to either one at will. Uh, just some more random keys to things. And some little pieces of thin metal that go to something at work. I was going to make something out of them. Uh, there's IBM register key. Uh, just some miscellaneous barrel keys and whatnot. Extra CH751s there. Oh, here we go. When I do get a challenge lock made, we got a keychain for it. My user name from Reddit, Daryl Williams Brain. That came from Blyatt Man when I got my followers from him. Hell of a fella there. Here we got a barrel lock. A little uh, Ace knockoff. Uh, with the key to it. And as you all know, or may not know, that's what that uh, goat wrench is for. It's tension in them. Single pin picket. But you got to pick it three or four times before it's open. Uh, and here we got some key rings. 
and a Euro cylinder holder for the vise. And over here, here's the fun stuff. There's the hot sauce lock that killed me. Cookies in pie knot. Um, we also have in here uh, the Dusty 3.2. Uh, Sergeant S. Abloy he made. That's coming up sometime. Um, I got a kick holder. And sitting inside that kick is uh, another thumper challenge lock. The OP1 Kenobi. I got to do that. That's the key to that down in there. It's mummied. Extra tweezers, little shims, which a good source of them is them shoplifting deals on DVDs. You cut them open, you can get them little shim pieces of metal out of there. That's about it for just my little lock case. Oops. And all right, I used to filming from the back camera. And it just sits right here underneath my coffee table. And down here's the fun stuff. Cigar boxes and my sunglass case uses my all the picks I own are in that except these. Here's your your cheap huck picks for the tubular locks. They work pretty good on the one I got. Uh, generic no names ones. They won't work on ace twos unless you get a one in a million shot. But that's what we learn single pin picking for if you want to open them. The cigar boxes. It just contains the locks. There's a bunch of different locks in there. You've seen a lot of them before. Master Hitch Lock. Uh, here's my Mediacom, Wilson Bohannon. My local cable company. Cheap No Name Marlin. Uh, my Master 911. My Commando Locks. I just got them from Georgia Jim. Shout out to him for those, man. Those are a lot of fun to pick. I got a video coming up on one of them I want to do. Um, there's my Brady Long Shackle Abus 4140, I believe. But it's a fun little pick. It's got that Yale style looking tiny keyway. Hard to get in sometimes. That's just my lower level stuff in here. Except that Master, it's kind of got some level to it. I mean, it's a pretty fun little pick. My Brinks Laminated, that's a fun little pick. And commandos. A little hitch lock, uh, a couple brass brakes, another commando. There's some no namers down in here, too. That guy, he ain't got no name. It's a little aluminum body piece of shit. Uh, junk, excuse me. Oh, Master 140. Just miscellaneous goodies in there. This cigar box has my more fun locks in it. Um. The Master Pro Series. I got a couple blank keys. Uh, this came from Dusty and Wendy. There's a couple blanks that fit it. I'm going to attempt to impression the key, and if I can, I'm going to just gut it and hand file one for it. Um, then we got the Mako in here. Mako 425. That's a fun little pick, too. I can't open it consistently, but I can open it. I can open it somewhat easily, but... Sometimes it takes 10 minutes, sometimes it takes two. The consistency is not there. But that's because I mix all this up when I pick, so it's not going to stay fresh. Uh, these two guys, you've seen the yellow one before. That's the 400B Keyway Loto from Mark Chapter 13. And then the green one, teal green, came from Pickin' Paradise. It's got the uh, 401 Keyway, so it's a little easier to pick in, but every bit is challenging pin-wise. And then the rest of those, you've seen them before. There's my Hear No Evil, See No Evil, 1305. American. Uh, my obligatory pick and gut lock, plus his red brother. The DI one's a little harder. The AD one, I can pick at will. My two 5100s, same as the 1100s, they're just steel. I just did one of these for Lowell Forbes Wild one year, out on a chain, hanging off the tree in my backyard there. Uh, my 5200 I got from work. Seen that? I'm going to pick that on camera soon, too. I got a working key for it from Dusty and Wendy's pin package I showed you. You can see they broke their bolt cutters on it. And I picked it off of there, had it a while, and rekeyed it. And then my two little Forbes locks that we uh, he got from that find on the marketplace. The 1105s with long shackles. 
they got a couple gnarly gatekeepers. They're fun little pigs. I'm going to take one of them apart, one of the Makos apart, and compare the guts. See how similar or dissimilar they are. Uh, just for fun and fun and games. Something to do. But I picked through this box and that box regular. Another little cigar box. I don't remember what's in that guy. Oh, yeah. Some more miscellaneous keys. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I got some ideas. I got all them keys because uh, we got the idea. I got the idea from Bobby Keys to make a wind chime, and my wife did that. It's up there, a little hard to see, but it's got a, shit, a bunch of different keys on it. And my black cigar box here, it has. There's a few miscellaneous locks in it. There's a big heavy steel Harbor Freight puck lock. Same one Bosnian Bill had not all that long ago. Can be kind of tricky to single pin pick, but there ain't nothing real special in it. It's just, you can rake it open. Um, let's see here. Where's my little master number three yet? That's all right. We'll use the Brinks. There's a Brinks 40 millimeter here. Just precise comparison to this giant master number 15. I'm sure everybody's seen one of them. That's a big lot. Drop that on my toe a couple times. That ain't no fun. Um, he's got a nasty gatekeeper and he's old. So he's can be picked as any other master can, but I can't readily do it. Not super speedily anyway, but... There's the keys to a lot of these locks. I keep them around. Uh, when I pick in my car, if I'm going to pick somewhere like that, I keep these around as proof of ownership of the lock. And I don't take none of the locks I don't have keys to. That way, if there's any questions by anyone, I can answer them. You know, So I own the lock. Here's the key to it. I'm a lock sporter, what have you. But there's all the keys to most of the locks. Almost all the, well, all the Americans now, two commando keys, uh, a bunch of master keys, some Brinks keys, uh, just keys to most of the locks. Uh, here we got the Abus 5560. I've only ever opened this once. It's a difficult lock for me. I don't understand why. It's got the nice master-esque keyway and feedback isn't quite as crispy, so I don't know what's going on, but it's a it's fun little lock to play with. Uh, there's the 7240 I got from Dusty and Wendy. I got that sucker open once. He's fine. Oh, there's my little number three. Yeah, that's... Huge lock. <laughs> uh, my ace key, or my ace lock. This one eludes me simply because of the bidding, man. I have a hard time because it's so small of a keyhole little little tiny thing so small the keyhole and the bidding on it is similar to something Bill Bacardi would do look at that zigzag and I always overset uh, pin 3 trying to get on pin 4 here's my best SFIC that the uh, construction core that's in the case came from it's got a core in it now uh, that I got from Murkoff's Curiosity subreddit. I won it from a little prize he gave out. Uh, we got operating and control. Uh, it's the A7. You know how long it took me to figure out how to get that son of a bitch together. A lot of YouTubing and a lot of jerry rigging because I don't have the little gut tool for it. But we got her and it works. The operating and control. I'm going to do something on this sometime. And then when I bought my Lotos and my 5100s from Mark Chapter 13, he threw in this brand new little guy. Little Abus 7440 lockout tag out. And I cannot open that son of a gun at all. That's a 7 pinner, I believe. Very, very tight keyway. It's got the Yale style one, but it's a little more restricted than the other ones. A little more restricted than this one. But yeah, that's my lock lab. That's my locks. 
Um, like I said not a whole lot of good stuff, but I don't. I, I want to get more good stuff. Oh, and my vice, it sits in this box. And then. Sunglass case. This is what I'll carry when I'm picking in the car and what have you. There ain't a whole lot in there really, but we got a little city rate and a Bogota. Triple peak Bogota. People ask what do you use for rakes? Those two. If I can't rake it open with those two, then I don't need to rake it open. I want to actually get one more. I want to get the worm. And we got a deep hook. We got my offset diamond. I want to get one of them 50,000s. I got an SS dev set coming. Uh, wiper insert. My standard hook. My standard hook 15,000s. These are the two picks I use the most. He's got a bit of a bend in him. And then. My three most commonly used tensioners, top of the keyway and a little Z-bar offset. And the 50 thousandths from the flat 50 set. And then two from the knurled flat 5 from Sparrows at the 40 and the 30. Used the real skinny one in the Abus and the mid one and everything else. Uh, everything here, except for these two tensioners, come from Sparrows. I, they don't pay me or nothing. I don't care. I just like their picks for the money I mean, they have the best pick to uh, pick to price ratio in my opinion although I've been I've messed around with a couple danger field practice picks that uh, have Lowell, Lowell's kit and I want to order some of them and I want to get some law lock picks sometime but there you have it there's my rock lab such as it is not a whole lot to it I want to get a room and a proper desk so I can expand properly, but all, all this stuff around my coffee table, it drives the missus crazy. Uh, well, thanks for watching and spending about 15, 20 minutes with me. Uh, have a good rest of the week. Let's keep this legal and not give it a bad name. Take care, man. Y'all y'all getting Lowell's giveaway. He's got uh, I think a couple days left and that's over. Uh, it's a nice giveaway. I don't know what the prizes are. I didn't pay that much attention to the video. I don't remember if they're mystery prizes or or what. I paid attention to the details and the fact that he's been around a year. But I, sometimes it's fun not knowing the prize anyway. And he's giving out stickers for everybody entering. And if you have never heard of it, I'm sure every one of my 48 subscribers has heard. Uh, Charles Builds Crap has the lock sports cast uh the lock sports cast.com i just recently became a patreon of it got a lot of interesting tidbits news criminals uh, a lot of, you know he has information on most of the giveaways in the community including starry locks shout out monday series and he's got lols on there right now the mad aussie challenge um he's got information on all that interesting uh, interesting stuff, man. Lots of interesting, cool stuff on there. So give that a listen if you haven't. Um, Charles is a friendly guy. I recently got to interact with him uh, through emails. and His wife's got a podcast as well. I don't remember the name of it. About true crime. But um, anyway, again, stay safe. Have a good rest of the week. Keep this, sh uh, keep this legal. And we'll come at you soon with some locks. I'm going to pick at Mako on camera soon, I think. I might do that tonight before I go to work. Uh, anyway, take care.